welcome back to our channel so today we are going to study about uh, different types of electric vehicle configurations so what are these different types of uh, electric vehicle configurations or this is also called as uh, different types of electric vehicle topologies let's try to understand each topology so actually we have six types let's try to draw each and individual so actually basically the first topology is all about uh, they used it in the olden days all the they used it to convert uh, all the available uh, ic engine was converted into an electric vehicle so later they understood this is not the proper way of converting and replacement of an ic engine with electric vehicle and the remaining parts remain same so later on they started indigenous design of an electric vehicle which consists of a lightweight dark the weight ratio is balanced and all fiber plastic material were used which enhances the life of an electric vehicle so now let us try to see all those uh, configuration so initially uh, consider this is nothing but uh, the first configuration we are having so in this uh, first configuration or first topology this just what is meant by configuration means uh, is nothing but arrangement of uh, different components so how you arrange arrangement of different components of an electric vehicle what is that we'll try to see here so here basically you are going to have an uh, let's try to come from the basics uh, so actually you have an motor so this is nothing but our motor block and from motor block you need to have an clutch okay so this is nothing but clutch and from the clutch you are going to connect it uh, to an gearbox where this is also sometimes called as a uh, transmitter okay so from here we are going to connect it to an differential okay so this is nothing but a differential okay so this differential is generally also called as a torque splitter it divides the torque on one shaft into two torques it is also called torque splitter so this is also called differential or torque splitter so now the torque is divided across the wheels and here we are going to have two wheels so this is the front end of the wheel and this is the front end of the wheel so try to mark you have wheel 1 and you have wheel 2 so this is wheel 1 this is wheel 2 and this is a front area generally what we assume and this is the back area of an four wheeler electric vehicle and here also we have two tires so assume this as a wheel 3 and assume this as a from wheel 4 So this is wheel four we have. So it's very simple. So the purpose is we have a motor. So this is nothing but a motor, and we have a clutch box. So the purpose of clutch box is to connect the motor and wheel. So this clutch box connects the torque produced by the motor to Wheel, so you can connect. I mean, you can engage the wheel, or you can disengage the wheel with the help of only clutch. Okay, that's what the purpose of clutch. And you have some sort of gear box, some sort of one is to four, or depending upon the type of vehicle. And the torque is available on this shaft. So now the torque is rotating automatically. I want to convert into torques on the two wheels. That's why this is called as a torque splitter, or this is also called differential these are the basic parts so ultimately the thing is you need to rotate this wheel okay so you have a motor so to connect to the wheel you require the help of a clutch and you require a gear box and you require a differential wheel so here i already have told this is the basically an ic configuration just we are replacing the engine of an ic configuration with electric motor so that's why we replace directly the motor With the rather than using an engine, this is nothing but retrofitting an IC engine with an a motor. 
the remaining we kept same. So this was the first configuration or the first topology of an electric vehicle. So later on coming to the second topology, what we had done is uh, we had made it as a single gate transmission. So we started using a single gate rather than using two to three gates. We have used a single gate transmission. So and we since only one gear box is there is no need of clutch in this second configuration. So this is nothing but single gate transmission without the need of an clutch. And generally uh, we assume that this electric vehicle run on the road with an constant power, a constant speed. Okay, so let's try to draw the second configuration. So here you have the second configuration. So as already disclosed, yeah, this remains same. This is a front part of a four wheeler. This is back part of four wheeler. We are going to have the four wheels. Now we started removing the clutch directly. One motor is there. This motor is directly connected to the gearbox. So now directly the gearbox is connected. Motor is directly connected to the gearbox and we eliminated the concept of a clutch. So that's what there's no need of a clutch. So directly only one gear is there, directly connected to the gearbox. And we are going to split it into two tasks uh, with the help of a differential. So now we cut the differential and here we are going to have the two wheels of our electric vehicle. So this is wheel one, this is wheel two. So this is the front end, this is wheel one, followed with wheel two followed with wheel 3, followed with wheel 4, okay. So this is uh, wheel 3 and this is uh, wheel 4. So we have the four wheels and successfully now it is uh, running. Now we have rather than using multiple gears, we used only single gear transmission system and we eliminated the need of and clutch Why? because only one gear is there, there is no need of uh, transferring from, there is no gates, I mean indirectly there is no uh, multiple gates, only single gear is there, therefore there is no need of an touch. This is all about uh, the second configuration. Now come to the third configuration. So the third configuration is update of the second configuration. The third configuration we are going to have, so in the third configuration we are going to have an integrated fixed gear and differentiation. So here we are going to have and integrated means which is present in integrated uh, fixed gear, integrated fixed gear and differential. So this differential and the fixed gear are kept only in one device. Okay. Now let us try to draw that uh, diagram. So you have an this is the block of an our four wheeler electric vehicle. So now what we have done is, so we have motor, this motor is directly connected to one fixed gear. Then we remove the need of an uh, directly, we use it an fixed gear and through this fixed gear we are going to have a differential one and here we are going to have an differential two and through this differential we are going to connect uh, an wheel I mean the front wheels of an electric vehicle. So here we are going to have the wheels of an electric vehicle and we are going to label this as W1 and we are going to label this as W2. And here you have wheel 3 and here you have wheel 4. So that's why integrated means the gear and differential are combined in one block because it is called integrated fixed gear and differential this is how the thought configuration is. Next what we are going to do is, uh, so this is uh, like uh, having one fixed gear and having two differential. The next modification we are going to do here is uh, the fourth modification. Fourth modification is two separate motors and fixed motor and differential. We are going to use uh, Two, rather than using one motor, we are going to use two separate motors, I mean motor 1 and motor 
two so m1 and m2 and the two motors we are using and these two motors are there automatically require two different fixed gearing now you can see here so the fourth configuration is like this so you have the fourth configuration like this and here what we are going to do is uh, we have two separate motors okay so rather than having only single motor so here we are going to place one directly one motor let's try to label it as motor one let's try to label this as a motor two we have motor one and motor two and here we are going to have an fixed gear and here also you are going to have an fixed gear two and here only you have the wheel okay wheel is directly attached to this okay this is wheel one and this is a wheel two so this is a wheel one and this is wheel two so here rather than using a single motor we split it so you may ask uh, there are a lot of losses when we travel from uh, motor to clutch clutch to gearbox clutch you know the gearbox to differential and to the vehicle so rather than to avoid all these mechanical losses here we require the torque we directly place the motor there itself the problem is solved that's why we are directly placing the motor consisting of some gears and directly it is connected to the wheels this is all about uh, two separate motors here the same fashion we have wheel three continued with wheel four so we have two separate motors and some fixed gear connected to the wheels now coming to the fifth configuration or fifth topology is we have direct drive so okay so directly we have the drive so direct drive with two separate motors okay the same configuration so directly we are connecting is nothing but direct drive with two separate motors with two separate motors and fixing gear so this is also the same <coughs> So here the same will be repeated. So here also you have so we are having direct drive. So directly in the drive only you are placing you have a motor one and you have an fixed gear one. This is a motor one fixed gear one. So motor two fixed gear two. Okay. So, in the wheel itself, wherever you have the wheel, and here you have the wheel. So here only you have the wheel, which is nothing but uh, wheel one, and which is nothing but uh, wheel two. Directly within the wheel. Now, rather than using uh, motor and the fixed gear and wheel, directly in the wheel itself will keep. So that is nothing but you can see here four and five are automatically same. So six one is nothing but. Uh, uh, two separate in wheel drive motors we are going to use some two separate motors as m1 and m2 where this is called in wheel motor drives in wheel motor drives so generally we call this configuration as hub motor in two wheeler we call this as of motor generally for the sub motor we generally prefer wheel dc motor so now coming to the next configuration so here you are going to have the next configuration in this configuration so within the wheel itself okay you have an uh, outer tire so to this outer tire and within the rim itself rather than using the rim forks all these things are all like wheels directly within the wheel itself we are keeping the motor one and motor two and this type of drive is called in wheel so within the wheel only we have that's why it is called in wheel motor drive so in wheel motor 
drive technology. So this is the updated one. All the two wheelers we especially like uh, if you see this in wheel drive examples of uh, Ola uh, as well as uh, you have this uh, uh, Hero brand Vida. All these two variants directly come with uh, build DC hub motors. All these uh, Eco Tejas and which comes with the licenseless vehicles. All these models, all this brand manufactured in wheel drive. So later on uh, they try to have some uh, built to drive. Okay. So that is all about the types of uh, electric vehicle. Let's try to review. So very simple, you have six configuration. So first we use a motor, clutch, gearbox, differential and wheels. Now rather than using multiple gears, we use a fixed gear and we removed the need of an clutch and we came to the second one. So later, later than using a gearbox, we integrated these two and therefore you are going to have fixed gear with two differential and we constructed the on Fourth configuration, two different motors, two different fixed gears with the wheels. So here also direct drive. So directly in the drive itself we are keeping the wheel. So direct drive with the two separate motors and fixed gear. So last one is within the wheel itself we are going to place the motor. That's why this technology is called in-wheel drive. So all these are uh, very good. Uh, and you can see here, all this generally we call it as uh, four wheel drivings are there, two wheel drivings, all this comes with uh, two wheel drive techniques. Okay, so when you are making a round here, so you have a uh, four wheeler, so this is uh, wheel two and this is wheel one. So wheel one will rotate uh, lesser, a uh, lesser speed and wheel one will be rotating with higher speed. Why? Because uh, it has to make an round. So W2 will be running here. And W1 will be running, which you need to make uh, higher. We need to rotate with higher speed. So that's what about uh, this. Uh, when you have two wheel driving, so we have a latest vehicle which comes with uh, four wheel driving. So all these uh, four wheel drive, or we have this as uh, four wheel drives SUV models, and these vehicles are also called off road vehicles. Off road vehicles. So all these off road vehicles consist of uh, for video. This is all about uh, different types of electric vehicle configurations, the six topology. Hope the video is uh, useful. If you feel the video is useful, please give a small like and share with your friends and give your valuable comments to do more videos. Or if you have any doubt, let me know in the comments and please subscribe the channel and share with your friends so thank you for watching viewers from please try to encourage uh, the sign of this kind of channels which help you to give more knowledge so thank you for your help and support viewers thank you for watching